My name is Ryan Belrose. I'm Métis, which means that I come from an indigenous people in North America. We come from a place called Paddle Prairie, Alberta, but that's not where we're actually from. We're from a place called the Red River in Manitoba. Is that? I don't know if you guys know this, but there's people who really don't like Jews, right? Really? Yeah, it's weird. It's the weirdest thing. So, so they will literally do mental gymnastics that you cannot comprehend to avoid acknowledging that you meet those five criteria, right? And they will they will make outright lying statements so that they don't have to deal with it. And the reason that I'm even talking about this is because the title of tonight's talk, right? Indigenous, it's advocacy in the age of nonsense, right? And the problem is, <laughs> we're trying to advocate using truth and using, you know, sound concepts and consistency, while the other side has no such conundrum. They don't care. They will say with a straight face, they will say, the Palestinian people have been here for two million years. <laughs> and then when you say, you know, human beings haven't been around that long, they say, yeah, but the first ones were Palestinian. So, like, you can't... It's really difficult to argue with people like that, but I'm going to explain why it's important that we do and how it's important, why it's important how we do it, okay? So the thing about being Native gives me a little bit of insight into how Native people deal with European colonizers, right? We, we deal with them on a daily basis where I'm from. <laughs> it's, it's funny because we don't really, like, in my daily life, it's not like I go to the grocery store and hand the girl my money and then say, thanks, colonizer. You know, like, that's, oh, sorry, go ahead. It's not really how we interact with people. It's, it's really, that's why this whole new discourse where people are talking about decolonizing and everything is so problematic because they make it a dichotomy and they make it a, an adversarial dichotomy. And it's not, okay? What we really need to do is we need to understand that what happened in the history of our nations happened in history. And we need to find ways to work around that, to come to common cause and common ground and move forward. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people aren't really ready for that, right? And I have to be super careful with how I talk about this too because I've seen how people talk to Jewish people about your traumas, right? What's one of the most common things that I hear whenever a Jewish friend of mine talks about the Farhud or the Holocaust? Well, Jews always talk about that stuff. Just get over it, right? Mm -hmm. That's, you hear that constantly. That's like a. It's almost what, like a refrain word, from that. Just wait. Farhood? You'll get a chance. You'll get a chance. Get, I don't understand. What is the word farhud? It's the same thing. The farhud is what happened to the, the Middle farhud. Eastern Jews. The pogroms in Iraq. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. So, long story short, it, like I see how people talk to Jews, and it's not nice, right? And it's very, it's very similar to the way that they talk to Native people where I'm from. So that's why, that's kind of what drew me to all this nonsense in the first place. Because to me, it really is nonsense. There's certain things that a human being should never have to argue for. And one of them is dignity, and the other one is self respect, right? We should never have to make arguments where we have to say, I deserve to have dignity, right? It's like, no, that should be a given. I should be treated with dignity and respect. That's a given.